morning. It's Sunday, November 27th, and the year is flying by. And every day when I go to the mailbox to take out the mail, 75% of the mail that I'm getting is asking for money, and the other 25% is nothing but advertising for some local market or something else, something ridiculous. But I want to tell you about the phone calls I get in addition to the ridiculous mail. I get many phone calls and they call up and they say they are representing the firemen or the policemen or some other organization that should be taken care of. There's no question about it that police and firemen do great jobs and I donate money locally to the Smithtown Fire Department and I donate money to Suffolk County Police and Nassau County Police. But I have a methodology before I give anybody any money. When I get one of these phone calls, I ask them to not call me, but to mail me the information. And they're always a little bit reluctant to do that. They want to know how much money I'm prepared to give them, etc., etc. And I will only say that I'll give you the minimum amount which in this case, and in many other cases, is $50 or $25 or something. I'm not prepared to give more than that unless I check out the cause. And that's what I'm about to tell you, is about my checking and what happens when I check. So I get a call the other day from the Fireman and EMS Fund, and I tell them the same story, send me the information. Well, the information came yesterday morning. And I open it up, and what do I find? A blurb, a little blurb in there, how they're going to spend this wonderful money that I get giving it to politicians who are going to help firefighters and EMS. And that's in the letter. There's nothing in there that says they're giving the money to the firemen. No, they're not giving this money directly to the firemen. They're going to take this money and use it to talk to politicians. And who knows how much of that money is really going to the politicians. For all we know is they could take that and give 10% to the politicians. In any event, I do the usual thing when I get this. I go online to check them out, to get their rating, you know. And of course, they're not rated very well. They are not rated very well at all, and in the rating it tells you they don't give any money to the firemen. They're giving their money to the politicians and hoping that the politicians will do something for the firemen. Why? Why do we need organizations that are set up like that? I'll tell you why. Because we in the United States are stupid. We don't take care of our firemen. We don't take care of our policemen. We don't take care of our teachers. We don't take care of our EMSs. We don't do the proper things as a society. We allow organizations to be formed to scam us. And that's something what they're on. Ninety percent of the time when I go out to review the ratings on all of these so-called charitable institutions, not-for-profit charitable institutions, they're phonies. They're phonies. So I am telling all of you out there who listen to my rants that when you get anything in the mail, get online and check that organization out. Unless you definitely know from past experience that this is a good organization, you know. Even the Red Cross is sometimes not so good. So there's a lot of scammers out there and they are lurking in the background. And they are waiting to get your money, your hard-earned money. And even if you're not earning it hard anymore, it's still your money. And you should be careful who you give it to. And so I'm offering up this wonderful suggestion. Open the mail. Get online. Check out these organizations and you'll find out how they are rated. And some of them are rated so poorly I don't even know how they're legally still in existence. When you get an organization that's taking in X number of dollars and they're only giving out 10% of it to the so-called cause 
And in this particular case, if the cost is giving that 10% of the money to politicians, that's worthless in my mind. Why do I want to be giving any money to any politician? And you don't know what the politician's going to do. So this organization for the firemen, for the firefighters, and the EMS is giving money to the politicians to help the firefighters and help the EMS. And do they follow up? and make sure that that politician really did what he said he was going to do? No! There's no way in hell that they're doing that. So I am telling you right now to be very careful with all these phone calls that you may be getting and all all the crap that comes in the mail. Because I'm sure that 90% of you are just like me. You're not getting letters from anybody that's important. Maybe you'll get an occasional bill or something, but you're not getting any letters because people don't write letters anymore. If you don't have an email account, you may never hear from anybody again. Or if you don't have a phone, you may not see anybody ever again because of TikTok and all of those ridiculous things that are out there in space. So I leave you with that this morning. Be very careful with what you do with your money. Don't get caught up in any of these scams that exist. And believe me, they exist. They are out there constantly. And then you get other crap besides that. So just be careful. Have a great day. Bye.